amino propyl ascorbyl phosphate. We're going to call this AAP. Overall, I found this vitamin C derivative to be pretty easy to formulate with. It dissolved super easily in the water. It didn't recrystallize. The only annoying part about this ingredient is that it has to be in a pH between 5.5 to 6 to be stable, that's not a very big window. So according to the manufacturer of this ingredient, it has both anti-wrinkle and whitening effects. They did an in vivo test, which is a test done on real people. They included 33 people and found that just 0.5% AAP significantly reduced hyperpigmentation after eight weeks by 39 to 33%. They also claim to have measured a dramatic decrease in the total number of wrinkles about 23% after eight weeks. So we can't take these claims too seriously as this is an in vivo study done by the manufacturer. So more research needs to be done on this ingredient. Formulating with AAP, let's talk about the DEETS. It's a white to pale yellow powder. It's water soluble. It's light and oxygen stable. Addition of chelating agent can boost protection against oxidation. Natural pH of this ingredient is 1.7 to 3.7. But the final product's pH needs to be between 5.5 and 6. So yeah, there's the annoying part with it. It's heat sensitive. Add it below 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Its typical use rate is 0.1 to 1% and it's not considered natural or eco-cert. Here's the formula we're working with. Sodium phytate, that is an eco-cert compliant chelating agent. The reason I decided to use sodium phytate in this formula is first it's a chelating agent and we need to add one in here, but also sodium phytate has a high pH. And since AAP, like I said, has a pH between 1.7 to like 3.7, but it needs to be in a pH between 5.5 and, and 6, I know I need to raise the pH. So I decided to add in like ingredients that I know have a higher pH to hopefully help boost that pH up, up a little bit. So that's why I decided to use sodium phytate. It has a higher pH, so I'm hoping if I add a little bit in, it'll help raise the pH a bit. Also adding in tri -eth, we're gonna call it TEA. I'm adding 0.2% of it because I did do a few experiments, so I got a little bit of an idea of how much I need to add in. I'm adding that in to help raise the pH. You're already familiar, propendial, liquid dermal plus, that's a preservative. And then phase B is sepamaxin. It's also known as polyacrylate cross polymer six. This ingredient is you. Aww. This ingredient is used to thicken the serum. I have an entire video deep dives into making serums and I talk in depth about Sepamaxin. I've used it on so many of my videos, so I'm not gonna go in detail about it here, but it is what's thickening this serum. Again, I'm making a 100 gram batch and I'm starting with phase A. I added in 92.3 grams of distilled water. Then I added in the 0.5 grams of sodium phytate, mix that in until it dissolves, dissolves super easily. And then I added in the one gram of the amino propyl ascorbyl phosphate. I just added it in all at once, mix it in. It dissolved fine, no issues there. Then I added in the 0 0.2 grams of the TEA. Again, this will help erase the pH, mix that in. Then five grams of propendial, you could use glycerin or propylene glycol instead. It's a humectant, helps hydrate your skin. 0 0.5 grams liquid dermal plus, you can use whatever broad spectrum preservative that is water soluble that you wanna use. And here we are at phase B, it's just Sepamax in, pour that in to your product, just let it sit on the top, don't mix it in, just let it sit there and cover it with plastic wrap. And this can take up to like eight hours to hydrate, but I always just let mine sit overnight. And when you come back the next day or in eight hours, you'll notice that all of the powder is hydrated and it'll be like clear on top, but it'll be like chunky. And then you wanna go ahead and just mix it all in and all the chunkiness blends and it'll thicken a little bit. We're only using a tiny bit, so it won't thicken too much. We're just thickening it just enough so it has a little bit of viscosity, so it's like easier to manage. And of course, gotta check the pH. The pH was 5.54, which is perfect. Yay, I didn't have to freaking adjust it all because I did do some experiments. So I already had an idea of how much pH buffer I needed. But yeah, just fill your little serum bottles and yeah, it's got a gorgeous consistency. I love Supamax Zen. It doesn't feel tacky on your skin at all. It feels basically like you're putting water on your skin. I like this serum a lot too. I'm really just sticking with like bases that I know I love. So I really don't have much to say about these serums because I like them and I'm using bases that I've basically have used before, but just adding in different actives. So how to use the serum, you want to apply it on clean, dry skin, massage it into your skin, follow with a moisturizer. Use an AM and PM 
or just one or both, but use a both for best results. My final thoughts, I did enjoy formulating with AAP, but since there isn't much research done on it and it's not very popular, I don't like it too much because of that. It seems there are better choices out there for vitamin C derivatives, but it is it's easy to formulate with and maybe it'll grow in popularity later. But as of now, it's not really popular enough for me to really like it because this is my job. I got to do what's what people are liking and what people are wanting, right? But if you like it, great. But um, yeah, there's not much research on it. And also Lotion Crafter is discontinuing it. So who knows if it'll even still be available when this video goes up. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over and binge watch for only $5 a month. Also, if you don't have access to Patreon in your country, you can sign up as a YouTube member instead. If you sign up for the $10 tier on my Patreon, you get a shout out for your small business. I'll have all these brands linked below. HB Royal Retreat Store on Etsy, naturesfarmgirl.com, Let's Blend LLC, at Stardust Bath and Body, hempygirl.com, shoplevis.com, Owl and Lily over on Etsy, Skin Lounge Co. over on Etsy, blackpedalbeauty.com, embracebeautyessentials.com, legendarybathandbody.com, astariapothecary.com, Raviga Cosmetics here on YouTube, exorebb.com, pardonaturals.com, naturalstateskin.com, thenatureinus.ca, nearcatalier.com, use the code on the screen for 20% off, earthandambernaturals.com, sharkcitynaturals.com, daytorelaxproducts.com, crownedglorylc.com, lhscentedsoapsandmore.com, JanaeRose.com, Health Nut Beauty on Etsy, VelvetTemptations.com, JourneyRoseBeauty.com, CHRBrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, CanellaBathAndBody.com, MadhouseMamaSoaps.com, Expo.com, Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and MyCrownAndGlory.com. Thank you so much for you guys' support. Without you guys over on Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. So thank you so much.